you, Liz. Hi. How are you? Nice to meet you. Well, nice to meet you too. Who are you? Ruby. Hi, Ruby. I'm Gok. Nice to meet you. <laughs> what about the fella? Who's the boy? Oh, he's Ace. It's Phil. Pretty much from the moment we met each other, I knew that he was the one. I proposed to Liz on two occasions. The first occasion was in a restaurant in Amsterdam, and I got down on one knee and said, when you know, you know. <laughs> then popped the question. Was it how I wanted it, though? Was it? No. No. So you basically told him that his proposal wasn't good enough for you. Absolutely. It just wasn't how I expected it. So anyway, we came home and then I'd gone out and I'd come back and he'd put petals all up the... Um, candles, the candles, candles. Candles. And he'd put his suit on it middle of the day, hearts on bed, and he did it beautifully then. Just oh, lovely. Could you terrify me, just so you know? <laughs> <laughs> Make me cry. I love it. The first dress is beautiful. Mum, what are you thinking? Uh, when she first came out, I just thought, mm, no, no. But now she's turned around and she said, I am quite liking it. For me, it was the right amount of sexy, definitely. I personally like that skirt bit because that's what something I would go for. Right. But for you, no. I think this is too traditional for right, Liz. Right, okay. You tell us what you think. It's just too normal. <laughs> okay. It's not the one. It isn't flamboyant enough? I think it's just not unusual enough. So you feel like you've seen this dress before? Definitely. What we need to do is we need to really work on our definition of what we think is sexy. All right? Yes. OK, right, let's get to the next dress. I'm just, just hoping that the next dress has the wow factor. Come on, Gok, we can do this. Right then, ladies, we've gone for something which is a crossover piece. It is 100% occasion, it's 100% bridal, and it's 100% couturier. Um, let's find out from the lovely Bernie, the uh, designer and the price. The designer of the gown is Demetrius. With the dress and the train, it's £3,800. £3,800. This is crazy. I told him my budget was £1,500. I guess it's my own fault, because I did tell him, you must show me everything. Talk us through what you can see. It's beautiful. Yeah. It is beautiful. It's amazing. In fact, yeah. it reminds me of, like, Hollywood. Oh. like that. So I'm starting to like the dress. The entourage is smiling at the dress. All is going OK. Do you remember when you had your 40? That's what that looks like. What are you trying to say about it? No, it does. <laughs> And then my younger sister, Michelle, chirps in with how it is similar <laughs> to my mum's 40th birthday dress. <laughs> you can't get any more non-normal than this. What do you think? I mean, I'm all for being different and brave and standing out, but this is maybe taking it to a different level. If she yeah, doesn't yeah, yeah, come yeah. home with a dress, I'll be sad. Nanny will be sad as well. So here we go. Three, two, one. I love the shape. I love, love so much about this. I was all for see-through in sections, but this was see-through all over and it's making me feel nervous and anxious more so than I ever, ever anticipated that I would feel. The only thing is that you can... That bit, I think, it's just a bit too much. My mum will go, wow, I can see your knickers, that's disgusting, Liz. <sighs> Risqué. Come on, Gok. Make me look like a bride and not a bloody stripper. Right, 
So it's going to be crunch time. If we can't cover the bottom of that dress. So can you go upstairs, ask Jean if she's got any stretch nude material? Stretch nude, yeah. OK, and if she can, we need to make a skirt really quick. That drop. Yeah, okay. perfect. I love it. Do that you? is the one. That has got to be the one. It's different. That is amazing. It makes your figure look bang on. I love it. I love it. I love it. I do. Go on. That's the only dress that's made me go like this. Mum, you're very quiet. Liz was quite nervous about you seeing this. It's very see-through. Um. I didn't like the top. I'm like, oh God. Just move your hair. I think it's lovely and it kind of shapes then my arms yeah. nice, I think. But the more I am looking at it, I'm starting to like it. I love the yeah, lace. Beautiful. Love Honestly. it. I can see in, in Lizzie's face, there's a definite change. She likes this dress. Let's spin you round then, my darling. It's crunch time, OK? It's now time to find out the designer and the price, because this is a couture piece. Oh. Are you ready? Oh, no. <laughs> the designer is Atelier by Pronovius. And if we were to order you a brand new gown, it would be £4,800. My heart sank when she told me how much the dress was. It was just far too expensive. However, you can have this sample gown for £1,500. <laughs> <laughs> so, that leads me to ask you a very, very important question after quite a tough day. <laughs> Are you saying yes to the dress? I'm absolutely over the moon she's found her dress. Ecstatic. <laughs> Mum thought I wouldn't do it. We thought you might not do it, but you've absolutely pulled it out of the bag. Thank you You have very been much. amazing. Yeah. I just feel this dress is just perfect. I'm so excited to see Phil's face. When I see Liz walk down the aisle, I definitely, 100%, love tears in my eyes. <laughs> 